Hey everybody. Yeah, it's um, Wednesday afternoon. I had to work last night, so uh, didn't get to do a beer. Didn't even get to have a beer till 10 o'clock after 10 o'clock last night. And I decided today's a gorgeous day. Um, gonna head out again to one of my favorite spots. Uh, unfortunately, they put they, there's a notice up here that the the campground where I'm not at. And these shelter houses will be closed for the season, October 29th. You can still get in here. There's hiking trails through here and stuff. And the way to get in here is like a half mile walk through a, a up a hill both ways. So I probably won't be coming out here much longer. Uh, it's a real windy day. I hope it's a gorgeous day though. It's God. It's it's in the 80s, which for the end of Oct end of October is incredible. I'm going to do another one that, um, thanks to my subscriber Robert, I'll probably get it, maybe never get another ch chance to do. I'm going to do an, the other dogfish head he sent me. I'm going to do their pumpkin ale. I've not had this before. Um, I, uh, as most of you know, the only one I really like is the, the Schlafly. I compare them all to that. So let's see what dogfish head has done. I think I don't have a. I don't have a dogfish head cap this color, so might add that to my collection. I do. Uh, there are different different uh, caps from the same brewery. I'll I'll save them all. I don't just save one from each brewery. But anyway, let me get this pumpkin ale in a glass. A little bit from the website. It says pumpkin ale, a full-bodied brown ale with smooth hits of pumpkin and brown sugar. We brew our pumpkin ale with. Pumpkin meat, organic brown sugar, and spices. As the season cools, this is the perfect beer to warm up with. Pumpkin ale was named after the seriously off-centered Southern Delaware extravaganza, Pumpkin Chunkin'. Uh, check out some of these Discovery Channel videos. I think that's where they put the, put the pumpkins in the catapult or whatever. I don't know anything about it. I, that's from the website. They do have a link there. It won't work in, the, uh, in my notes down below, but... Um, Anyway, it says, since its debut, we brewed pumpkin ale each and every fall. It is released right around September 1st each year. When you find it, grab some extra because it's usually gone by Thanksgiving. 7% um, ABV, 38 IBUs. So. See, this was bottled on 2012. God, what does that say? 2012 I 12 1928 so that doesn't tell me anything I know it wasn't brewed on the 19th of December that's for sure but anyway what we got here is a nice kind of cloudy obviously brown ale had a little bit got about a pinky of a slightly off-white head right now um, kind of frothy medium about a carbonation streaming up so let me get a nose on this yeah I'm getting the pumpkin spice I'm getting a little bit of pumpkin but I'm mostly getting those spices cinnamon nutmeg brown sugar there's some sweet uh, caramel malts in there what you'd expect from a brown ale um, nutmeg probably right in the beginning maybe a little allspice in the background maybe some some gra grassy, maybe Pilsner hops in the background. I don't know what they use for hops on this. But nice smelling beer, so let me give it a taste. Yeah, I get that nice mix of um, caramel malts right there in the beginning. Little pumpkin flavor, not, not real heavy. It's still heavy on the spices. Cinnamon, nutmeg. Maybe a little allspice, brown sugar. Decent, decent tasting uh, pumpkin beer, though. I'm not like I said. I'm not a big fan of fruit beers or pumpkin beers in general, but so far, it's a uh, decent uh, tasting beer. It's got a nice uh, finish, uh, kind of a mix of uh, sweet brown sugar, a little more of those spices, um, just a hint of that bready caramel malt. Maybe even a touch of some dark fruit of some sort, but uh, decent tasting beer. It uh, seems to be a little heavier than a 
maybe medium plus mile feel. Hang on. Yeah, sorry about that. Stuff started blowing away. My hat blew away. The paper started blowing away with my notes from the website. But it's a, I'd say medium, maybe a little heavier than medium bodied uh, mouthfeel, moderate carbonation, um, real smooth with a nice sweet spicy finish. So, so far so good. This is a decent pumpkin ale. So, we sit, sip on this a while, get the rest of my glass. I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts in gray. Okay, I'm back. It's been 20 minutes or so. Just been sipping on this. I'm enjoying this a lot. Um, I'm thinking next to the Schlafly, this is probably this is probably be the second favorite uh, pumpkin beer I've had. Um, it's very drinkable. Um, it's it's spice forward. I I wish there were just a little more pumpkin flavor to it. It's it's primarily the the emphasis is primarily on the spices. Uh, not as not as much pumpkin as I like. But it's still got a decent, uh, decent overall balance. Um, still a good amount of pumpkin, just maybe not quite as, um, quite as pumpkiny, if that's a word, as I like. But so anyway, I'm gonna give the uh, dogfish head pump, pumpkin ale, and I do hope there's not too much wind noise in this. I'm gonna give it a good solid uh, eight out of ten decent drinkable beer if you can still find it and you can get it pick it up like i said dogfish head isn't available here so thanks again to robert cheers to robert and cheers to all my subscribers i really appreciate that you guys are what makes this the most fun so till next time everybody cheers let's keep drinking good beer